Indian name, but I'm from India. <laughs> Go fucking figure. Yeah, no, I always surprise people when I say I'm from India because this is not what people expect when you think of Indian women. You know, Indian women make people think of all the Miss World winners. Priyanka Chopra. Aishwarya Rai. <laughs> Instead, I give you this. <laughs> A person who looks more like Ariel Winters from Modern Family than anyone from my own country. <laughs> a chubby brown knockoff of Avril Lavigne <laughs> that was poorly manufactured in Bangladesh. <laughs> no, but guys, I've realized I'm absolutely terrible at being Indian because I don't really meet any of the expectations people have. Like, I'm so bad that recently a British person told me my cooking was too bland. Wow. <sighs> and a couple of years ago, I accidentally got the flag of Pakistan tattooed on my wrist. <laughs> Rushing it. I think the worst part about being a bad Indian, though, is that I am, in fact, an unmarried Indian woman in my late 20s. <laughs> <laughs> it's not great. I've been getting a lot of crap from uh, a lot of my family, particularly my Indian aunties for it. But the crazy thing about judgmental Indian aunties is they're like Pokemon. They evolve over time. Because you see, when I was a teenager, my Indian aunties were always like, Boyfriend! I beta boyfriend, you're too young. Beta study. You should be studying. But the moment I hit my late twenties, they were like, job? <laughs> Why do you want a job? You should get married, you should have children by now. And I'm like, damn auntie, if you hadn't made me study my entire life, I would have had time to catch me a man. And shit, I'm supposed to go from no boyfriend to kids overnight. Overnight! Yep. Like I'm supposed to go from Mother Teresa to Stormy Daniels, like this. <laughs> Those are different skill sets. And so now Indian aunties don't even view me as a person anymore. To them, I'm the green potato at Tesco's. The one that everyone is just trying to get off the shelves before it goes bad. They will try to marry me off to anyone. Anyone who will take me. Their son. Their neighbor that one vaguely brown taxi driver that they got from the airport. <laughs> Anyone I can make brown babies with. Though I find that a little weird, because Indian aunties are trying to get us to marry each other and have babies like Indians are an endangered species. <laughs> like if they don't actively get involved in the conservation efforts, we're just gonna pff, go extinct. <laughs> Has no one told them there's like a billion of us? <laughs> a little bit too good at their jobs. At, at this point, they're just putting jet fuel in a runaway train. Indian aunties act like if you go on the World Wildlife Fund website, you're not gonna see like a picture of like a sad lion or like a weird fucked up pheasant with like some crazy feathers on its head. No, no, you're gonna see like a sad single Indian man like <laughs> And you click on it and it's just gonna be a video montage of him doing single people things, you know? like riding a tandem bicycle by himself. <laughs> no baguette in the basket for a sexy picnic. <laughs> or it cuts to uh, him uh, going to Ikea and getting into a fight with himself. <laughs> or him alone by himself watching Netflix. But there's no chill, guys. <laughs> there's no chill. Indian aunties act like Indians are majestic elephants limited to a small part of the world with extra long trunks. And if you leave us alone, we'll just vanish. But that's not true. Indians are more like stray cats. We're everywhere. We come particularly hairy, men and women. <laughs> and if you leave us alone for like 10 minutes, we're gonna make a baby. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that was my time for today. But if you liked this, I do have my show, Unladylike, 
Every Day at the Mash House that kind of talks about my struggle with my identity as a woman, as an Indian, as an American immigrant, and through a whole bunch of different things. And you guys have been lovely, so I would really love to see some of you there. Thank you very, very much. Yeah.